In the fall of 1990, Youth Survivors was a brand new program designed for spiritual healing of high-risk youth. Two and a half years later, the program flourishes, and so do the youth, going back to the land and learning from their elders. Hey, welcome to my fish camp. The elders teach the youth their basic skills of living, like fish camp, trapping, gathering, learning from the land. Now this is the recipe that has been working for Rural Caps Youth Program, Youth Survivors. They're going through a lot of the, the, the experiences that their grandparents did. Their parents have never experienced some of the things that they're doing currently. You know, what they do during the summertime is they gather up their fish. You know, they use a fishing wheel and then they, they harvest their own fish and then they, you know, they prepare it and they get it ready and then they distribute it to the elders and then... They Learning practical skills for the youth is not only a lot of fun, but also promotes healing. We all have an innate need to be part of our environment, and that has its spiritual healing because, you know, it really does promote that kind of sense of worth, belonging, who we are as people. And I think that's what the healing process is, is just to know who we are and to have a lot of pride in that healing and to be able to show a lot uh, you know, show that to the world. You know. The youth survivors are getting ready for this year's camp, but first they have to wait for the flooding to recede at Fort Yukon. Also, Rural Cap is preparing now for the annual Rural Providers Conference in Soldotna, set for August 3 through 7. Of course, we'll share that event with you right here on Northern Lives. Until then, see you Thursday.